Superbooth 21, Tom here from Cine Anatomy, on the booth of FOP Synth. How are you? I'm fine, thank you for having me. Uh, you are a company from? Uh, we're based in Moscow, Russia. The, the land or the, the country of the very good synthesizers. I think very characterful synthesizers. I think this land has full Soma Labs and other companies there. All, it's nothing, it's really characterful. A bit dirty, yeah. Yes, raw sounding. <laughs> what you are doing with your designs? What, how do you get these designs? This is, uh, do you have extra parts? They are uh, no, secret parts. All standard components were just inspired by uh, drum machines from the 70s and 80s and wanted to create something modern with this uh, modern sequence and MIDI. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that and, was the idea. And you are designing a synthesizer and drum machines how long already? Uh, we've been designing it from 2015 mm -hmm. and uh, right now company consists of three people and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. We've been designing them. And, and you have now on Superbooth uh, your drum machines with, you had also an analog synthesizer I think I saw on the website. Yes, we used to have it but we discontinued it, we're working on something new in future so mm -hmm. Yeah, and on um, you had also a new uh, effect uh, effects uh, processor. Yes, we have a prototype here. It's an uh, analog multi uh, it's analog phaser and uh, mm -hmm. two digital hybrid uh, delay lines. Okay, and um, do you uh, have a specific design language? I think every company has a language what follows. Are you more uh, oriented on the vintage side, or do you want to, or do you want it very hands-on? Or uh, we were aiming to. We were inspired by, of course, uh, synthesizers from the 70s and 80s, like Simmons or Pearl concussion drum machines. But we wanted to add a more modern approach, like MIDI and uh, sequencing, and fully MIDI syncable. So, yeah. And I see your, your devices have a lot of knobs, a lot. <laughs> yes. So it's no, nothing with big, big menus, it's all about yes. just plug, on. Just plug and play, yeah, pretty much. Okay. What you see is what you get. <laughs> um, maybe we should get a deeper look inside, because my followers, they want to hear it and yeah, more deeper information. So we, we uh, see here, I think, uh, what is the, maybe with the big one, the 87, uh, what is it exactly? Or is it a, more an emulation, an emulation more in recreation, mm -hmm. you think? Or is it a new idea of drum machine? Uh, it's, it's a full analog uh, drum synthesizer, and we were just inspired by uh, early synthesizers, uh, like Syncussion, like Polar Syndrome and Simmons drum machines, also, you know, Soviet drum machines like Marsh Udeas and Rockton. Mm -hmm. But we were aiming to integrate more like a modern uh, approach with MIDI and with uh, onboard sequencer and to make it all syncable together, especially for studio work. And I see uh, that you are um, you're using a lot of knobs. This means you have your every voice uh, dedicated knobs for it. Yes, we have uh, seven sounds here and uh, pretty much consists of a bass drum clap, two hi-hats and three we call them generators. They pretty much contain uh, a click sound, a tone, and the noise part. And you mm -hmm. can make all kinds of sounds from snares to thumps and to like different clicks and blobs. <laughs> and uh, these knobs, are they MIDI uh, CC? Or no, they, they don't translate MIDI at the moment. Uh, maybe in future, but <laughs> at the and moment. It's and you have individual outputs. Yeah, for yes, we have individual outputs for all the sounds, also individual triggers. and. Additionally, you can connect uh, four external devices which have trigger outputs and you can mm -hmm. sync them on the sequencer. And um, it's power, it is, it, it sounds are triggered, you can, uh, is it manually or is it, uh, there's also a step sequence inside? Uh, there's a step sequencer and also you can quantize them by tapping on the sounds, so. Okay. So we can choose the bass drum, for example, choose the steps. Then we can go into the rec mode and we can just tap the sounds. Shuffle the sounds. 
so it had to be bigger and more expensive yeah okay and yeah you have uh, 16 steps you can store 16 patterns and you can store them also in 60 banks of them so in total you have 256 patterns and you can also chain them so uh, like for example i have different patterns here cycling through the patterns which I've selected and I can break the chain. So, uh, so uh, par um, sounds can be not stored, so it's everything yes. is on the fly. Yes, you can store the actual uh, sequencer settings of the sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. And load them anytime, so yeah. Okay, and um, you have the little brother, or should I, how would you turn it, name it, is the Rhythmo Box? Rhythmo Box, yeah. Is it the little brother, or...? No, it's actually, uh, the only common feature is the hi-hats. They're quite similar, except there's no choking or no uh, metal tuning of the parts, compared to ADS. And uh, the generators are also a little bit different, mm -hmm. and uh, it's more trippier kind of drum machine. Is it uh, based on a vintage drum machine? Or? No, no, it's a uh, fully our design, but mm -hmm. we were inspired by like Pearl Syncussion, Polar syn uh, Syndrome, mm -hmm. uh, more rare, obscure drum machines. Uh, but we wanted to add the sequencer to it, so we can go through that. Basically, it has five sounds, two hi-hats and three generators. And uh, it has a lot of modulation, so you can create kind of a... kind of FM sounding. It has uh, eight steps, but you can also make it uh, 16 steps. You can load and save the patterns as well. It's an important factor for you, have individual outputs. Yes, yes, very important because you can plug it into your mixer and do additional signal processing of all the sounds, so it's quite important for us because we do a lot of recordings of music. Okay, yeah. and yeah. and for Superbooth uh, 21, you have a new effect processor, right? Yes, this is a prototype. We're still uh, making some sm small adjustments to it, uh, but we decided to take it anyway to show. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can. It's a, um, it has an analog phaser and two stereo hybrid digital analog delays. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can just play. You can easily self oscillate if needed. but uh, we like how it sounds. 
and it, it offers quite a lot of um, parameters for a analog effect. Yeah, it's yes, and it, it actually doesn't sound like a standard delay. It's, it's, it sounds more like a chorusy, reverbish kind. Is of it based on a specific chip, or are you using? Uh, it's a 16 uh, 16 bit uh, chip inside, and the phaser is fully analog. So we we like the combination of those, and we think it sounds quite ethereal. Gives a ethereal feel to the synthesizers or drum machines, okay. and we plan to have it released somewhere around October. Okay. Okay, that sounds very interesting. I really enjoy the designs of it because they have full uh, parameters. It's not handling with different menus and so on. Yes. So it's the hands-on feeling. I really enjoy, and also this. Uh, is it Soviet or this Russian design? Yeah, it's like a tank. <laughs> yes, uh, really nice. Um, the, the boxes are already available, yeah? Yes, rhythm boxes uh, are available, and uh, we also started to produce ADS in different colors. We used to have it only in black. Now we have it in blue, green, and gray and as uh, well. And how much uh, does it cost? Uh, our dealers have different prices. Uh, we also ship directly to some countries which don't, which don't have, we, we, where we don't have the dealers. So it's uh, it costs 940 euros for the ADS mm -hmm. and about 600 euros for the Rhythm Box. Okay, and the new Quad Wave? Uh, we haven't estimated the price yet, but it will be around 400 euros okay. altogether with shipping. So okay, quite affordable. <laughs> we hope. You have a very interesting setup. It's l very analog. It's very um, yes. It's very hands-on. I really enjoy it. Um, big thanks for. I uh, wish you a good Superbooth 21. You are here in a very quiet place. Yes. Maybe a, a bit difficult to get the people, but I hope you yeah. getting a lot of yeah. coverage. Yeah. And so I wish you a good Superbooth. And I hope you enjoy the video and. Hope to see you again very soon in the next Superwolf 21 video here on the Super um, on the Cinelatimi channel. Bye. Bye bye.